Good midday from the hustle and bustle in town of Hoi An. Um, we arrived here uh, yesterday, daytime. We're currently in the old town. Um, it's really busy. Um, there's loads of tourists here. Um, it's actually a really cool city. There's so many like, um, it's quite chic. Um, loads of little uh, shops that do leather, loads of shops that do um, suits, really good food. And um, today's video is gonna be um, just walking around Hoi An, but mostly um, coming to try all the different food and that. I've um, got some places on the map, so we wanna go. Um, we're gonna have some um, local delicacies, um, which include, I believe, unlaid chicken eggs. I'm not sure how they get them out. I mean, you can imagine. Um, but currently we are at a bridge. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but the name, put the name in the comments if you know. Um, but I know it's quite significant. It's got something to do with the Japanese. Um, Hoi An, translated in English, means um, quiet meeting place. Um, there's two parts to the city. This is the smaller little bit of old town where there's no cars allowed, just motorbikes. Um, and then you've got the, the other bit where there are actual roads um, as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to explore the old town and a bit of the normal town as well. We're going to be getting some banh mi's, we're going to be getting some dumplings, some wonton, they're all specialties around here. Um, but yeah, we're going to go... Uh, we're going to go explore the old town first, I believe. This looks really uh, nice as well. This is all nice and open. Um, but yeah, as you can see, lots of people. Really cool vibe. Once again, we're a bit delicate. We went out out last night. Um, probably spent a little bit too much money drinking. And um, yeah, it was really good though. Probably do the same again today. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool. Catch up with you. Well, that's pretty cool in there. Should we have a little look or? I oh, know, ticket. I don't pay a ticket. It looks really cool in there though. I mean, we've seen, we've seen a lot of temples and that, so we're not focusing on that too much. Um, but yeah, this is the old, uh, the old town. Um, there's loads of little narrow winding streets, lots of shops, it's all like handmade stuff and that. It's really famous for tailors and that here. Um, I believe it's up here. Yeah, here's our first destination over here. Um, I'm not really sure what the special is on this. There's only, um, I've just got some places off the map from the uh, hotel guy. He put some real good, good places on. He said, oh, these are all the local specialties. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try this one first. Gonna be eating a lot. Okay, so this is the first dish, which is cow lao. It cost us 35,000, which is about a pound. Um, it's a rice noodle dish, but the noodles in here are slightly different to um, other noodles. They're uh, like thicker and they've been like dried before, I believe, whereas the other noodles are fresh. You can see the noodle there. We've got some, um, I believe what that is, pork, pork here and then like pork skin. And then you've got salad in there with a small amount of broth. We're going to add some chili and some lime and mix it up. Got a little coconut there as well. Um, so yeah, that's the first dish. Adding some... Uh, Chili, well, it's, it's chili jam, so it's not actually that spicy. And then I think you're gonna get right in there, Josh, and uh, some lime. And uh, yeah, we got, you get these little bowls to like serve it in. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a big amount like that. With some pork and these things. I'm looking forward to eating the little crispy things. There we go. All right. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's what I've got. And let's go with the little crispy thing. Oh wow, that's definitely um, pork skin. That's really, really good. And then we'll go for the pork, which I believe is like char sui style. Looks nice, good cut. Not too much fat on there. Oh, really tender. Uh, the noodles, nice and thick. Really good texture. Normally the noodles here are quite like um, soft, but they got some they got some bounce back to them. They're good. Okay. Mm, uh, honestly, another ten out of ten dish. That is really really good, really tasty, and for the price as well. Like, I mean, we we ordered one because we wasn't going to eat it all because we've got so much to eat today. But I'm going to have struggle leaving that behind, and that's enough for two. They're easy, isn't it? And yeah, nice fresh coconut as well. Cool, uh, we'll probably see you walking around or in the next place. I'm gonna carry on enjoying this. It's really cool. If I knew it weren't gonna get screwed up, then I would probably buy one of these. I'll probably put it in a tube. It's cool. 
So we. Huh? What do they do? They got a tube. I might get. Oh yeah, I might get. I might get one of those. Um, problem is with we've, we've got um, so a little update on our situation. We've um, Hoi An is going to be our last stop in the central south because we're going to skip the next kind of Moine and the Trang and that kind of thing just because the weather's not great. So we're flying to Ho Chi Minh tomorrow evening. And then four, four days later, we're flying to Bangkok because we've got to leave the country to get our visas. Five days after that, we're flying to Phu Quoc for nine days. And then after that, we're flying back to Hanoi on the 6th. Uh, and then we've got, we can do a bit more of the north, maybe Halong Bay, not too sure. Um, so yeah, it was uh, all of those flights, four flights come to 250 quid each, yeah. which is a little bit more than we wanted. But the issue was because we got so much carry-on luggage, um, we had to pay extra for our luggage, basically. Um, yeah, no, thank you. Um, yeah, cool. So we've actually come out of the old town now. I'm getting hassled, but actually the camera is protecting me. They're not talking to me now because I've got a camera. Um, yeah, we've come out of the old town now just because the food places are good. It's going to be more of an evening affair with the street food, but we're going to go try and find some wonton wrapper, wrapper white noodle things. They're like a specialty around here. Um, yeah, cool. This is uh, what they call a Vietnamese pizza. It's on a uh, rice paper. So we've got some uh, meat floss, quailic, dried banana, uh, dried onion, fried onion. I'm not sure what that is. Spring onion. She's breaking a little quailic in there. Uh, this was uh, one pound, thirty thousand dong. Mixing that up. Uh, yes, please, both. Okay, she's gonna put the rice paper on the little barbecue thing. Hey, so we've got the uh, Vietnamese pizza. Let's give it a go. It's, uh, it's exceptionally hot. It's good. I don't know if this is a good example because this is right in the tourist bit. So I'm not sure if it's a good example of what it is. very good it tastes like fast food like it tastes like um perfect after a night out or something yeah i'd give that a seven and a half i think it's maybe because uh, i did the mayonnaise and the uh ketchup but she did ask if i wanted that it makes it taste uh like fast food basically but yeah okay next stop see you soon so we just walked past this one and uh i've gone for is pigeon or quail well, well. quail yeah quail oh that's good yeah, frog, quail, frog, prawn, octopus, tentacle. But I'm getting the quail, grilling it up. That was 50. We're gonna go uh, sit over this bit. These are the seats that everywhere sits on. These are the street food uh, <coughs> seats. And they are tiny, but they're actually really comfortable, to be fair, yeah. How you feeling, Josh, all right? Josh, Josh has had a couple of things to eat as well. We had the cow lao. Um, this is probably a little bit um, exotic for most people. Um, I would have got the frog, but I've had frog before, and I've never had quite. I've had quail egg, but I've never actually had uh, roasted quail or barbecued quail. Um, once again, it's just from the from the side street foods, which is more for tourists. And then in the evening, the, the specialty people that come out and they do one. These these guys just do one dish as well, but they're, it's where the locals would be going, and I guarantee locals probably won't be eating at these places. Um, but we'll see. The, the quail was 50. I'll come back to it once it's done and grilled. Okay, here's the grilled quail. Um, 
Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the head first. It's okay to eat the head, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, she said it. <laughs> It's not the flavour, it's the thought, but... Okay, that was, that was the head, that was obviously the gruesome part, but... You know what, the flavour was alright, it's just the thought of it made me a little bit... But, yeah, here we go. Got the leg. I didn't think there'd be this much meat on a crowd, I thought it was a pigeon, to be honest. Really good. Smoky, not too gamey. It's chicken, basically. Yeah, good. Okay. Couple more bits. I've, I, I did say I wasn't going to finish all my dishes, but yeah, I did. It's just started raining as well, unfortunately. Okay, we'll find the next space. Might be indoors if uh, if it's like this. Here we go, another uh, another temple. Um, it seems like they're sitting, it's the time now is 3 p.m. It seems like they're setting up for a market. I really hope it doesn't rain this evening. We've got one more day here, so we can explore it. But um, yeah, I just hope it doesn't hope it doesn't rain more. After after today, uh, tomorrow night when we fly, temperatures will be 30 minimum um, the entire time. No rain. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hot. So it is what it is. It's about 23 degrees now, I would say anyway. Um, but yeah, this is just like a little tourist market. Um, this will be bustling later. Oh, you got all the lanterns you lit up down by the river. There's a load more lanterns. It'll look really pretty uh, um, in the evening. <laughs> yeah? Is it Zikit? No, that wasn't. We've just come across this place. Uh, it looks really, um, really nice. Not sure what it is. Someone uh, let us know in the comments. It's a nice little square. Food places, cocktail. I'm going to come for a cocktail shortly. So we're going to go back and get the umbrellas. Oh, we don't mind not need them now. <clears throat> yeah, what a beautiful town. Like so so pretty and like chilled and I can definitely definitely understand why it translates to quiet meeting place. Um the coffee here is really strong as well, weren't it Josh? Like we had two coffees back to back yesterday, but they were really small ones. We thought, hmm, they're like 30p each. And um, I'm not, I don't, not really a coffee drinker until now, but I'm now I'm hooked. Uh, that's it now. But um, I was vibrating after that coffee, like I had like you know, through the roof, basically. I never felt like that before. But um, yeah, okay. Next place. So I've just come back to the hotel. Hello. To get the um, umbrellas and uh, have a quick fresh. Huh? Oh, the rooftop. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's go rooftop now then. If this. Um, we haven't been to the rooftop yet, but if it's uh, got no actual roof, then uh, I might get the drone out because that'll be a really cool city for some drone footage. But I'm guessing it's going to have a roof. It looks like it's got a roof. I'm going to pause there till we go all, all out these steps. Okay, it's got a roof, so I can't um, get any drone footage. I can, but if something goes wrong, it won't get back to me. So yeah, they've got some really unique tiles here. I don't know if uh, you can see that or notice it. They're like layered. They're really cool. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get freshened up and um, back out again. Try some more food. I think the next stop is a banh mi one. I'm not too sure if it's actually open yet because it's uh, not quite evening. But yeah. So there we go. We've got, um, sorry, one second. We've got um, like a crab pancake thing. Um, it's like little crabs with like shell on. Um, this was 50. I, um, I actually ordered it, went for that drink, and uh, forgot about it completely. Um, and she just chased me down the road. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Mm, it's actually really good. Crispy, obviously, from the shell of the crab. The top of the shell's been removed, and it's just the legs. But they're soft because they've been fried. Um, probably won't um that's all I'm gonna eat of that because uh I've got lots more food to eat I'm getting really full up nothing's gonna stop me though I'm gonna try all the food everything there we go we've got a uh gonna get bubble tea this looks like they uh, fire it up on the side so it's okay to film yeah yeah, yeah. 
worth making it down. Yes, sir. I love bowl too. It's definitely mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, 70,000. I'm breaking up the 500. There we go. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so uh, I'm so good. Yeah, let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let Double cream, yeah? Yeah, cream tea. Cream tea, nice. Oh, nice, clever. Oh, oh, rare. Rare. Oh, oh, rare. One. Number one. I think this one was like a specialty one. It was the most expensive on the menus. It was like three quid or something like that. Mm. Really good. It needs, needs mixing, but it is really good. Don't know what this place is, but Zing Fu Tang. It was good. Cool. We're going to um, find somewhere else again. Mm. Real good. So we got the uh, next dish, which is just this lady here cooking it on the side of the street. It is a uh, rice cake with shrimp paste and something. It was 10,000 dong, which is 30p. Uh, the temperature's dropped a little bit now. So we've got rice underneath there. I don't know if you can see that, you've got rice underneath. And then you've got um, like some crispy bits, which I'm guessing is like maybe, I don't even want to guess, I don't know, but yeah, let's try it. I don't know if it's sweet or savory. I'm guessing it's gonna be savory. There you go, so if you can see that, it's good. Mm. It's a really light flavour, I was expecting it to be overly, it's kind of not sweet or savoury, it's quite mild, I was expecting it to be really savoury. Oh, drawn a crowd. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm glad I got one. Other people got like six or seven. That's good, flavour's coming through, it's definitely savoury. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, it's got like crispy bits on it, spring onions. I love the uh, I love the bowl that it's served in. It's trendy. Okay. There we go, carrying on the eating adventure. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna actually quickly look what that was called. Sorry, Josh. Just gave him the thing. Yeah, it's called. Ban Biao, steam rice cake with shrimp paste and crunchy free ones. So yeah, there we go. I've got to pay up. Catch you next one. <clears throat> Just come across this plant. This is a ginger lily. So when I squeeze it, the liquid that comes out of that is like a natural shampoo and you can put it in your hair and it's really good for your hair. It smells really good as well. We're just on the edge of the old town now. It's definitely got a lot busier. It's got to be like rush hour where they're finishing work. Um, yeah, it started raining a little bit now. We're still walking around though. We're still having a little explore. Uh, yeah. This is just a nice uh, simple one. Um, it's still a specialty round here though. This is a uh, Konga from Hung's Chicken and Rice basically. Um, they've got the rice cooked up there. They've got nice shredded chicken like roasted. Got your herbs there that looks like I say Thai but like basil, sweet chili sauce again, the homemade one, and then the bits of the chicken that they're gonna make up, and then a nice broth as well. So we've ordered the Konga, which is 30, which is one pound. Um, it's just off the street a little bit. Uh, yeah, gonna enjoy this. Okay, here we go. Here's our chicken, roast chicken with rice some herbs and we've got a broth as well. She just told me to put this on a, I think this is soy sauce, I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna go for it before I try it. Just a little bit, is that a little bit? I think that's a little bit. Okay, let's give it a go. Chopsticks, I'm still not familiar with chopsticks. I can use them, but um, I'm using them wrong, I think. 
Okay, yeah, so nice fresh onion, some shredded cabbage as well. Let's get a bit of everything. Okay, there we go. Mmm. Really good, like obviously quite a plain flavour, but soy sauce is bringing it out and the veggies are like pickled a little bit I think and the roast chicken is like spot on really soft not dry I think you dip it in as well maybe I don't know I just did so that's how it is the herbs they've added to it is coriander I've no clue what that one is I can taste some mint in there as well I think yeah real tasty I'm gonna eat a little bit of this because I'm getting really full up and uh, go from there. Okay, got the umbrella out. Um, we've just had that rice chicken. We're going to head back to the hotel for a little, um, little night, little um, nap, and then um, we're going to head back to that cocktail place because the guy has got a cool cocktail for us. Basically, it's a homemade one. It's like a, a home home brewed alcohol, home brewed spirit from Banana Blossom. But he's going to tell us all about that later. He speaks really good, good English. And he was dropping some good facts for us um, and then we're gonna hit up another couple more um, food places and that's about it really um, then I'm gonna go out probably drinking again we've got a few bars to go to uh, Josh where are we go in is this way is it yeah and uh, yeah catch it catch you in a bit okay good evening the time is half eight that was a little bit more than a snooze in the hotel um, that was all the food made me sleepy. Um, we come straight in with the Bam Me. So uh, just ordered one of these bad boys. The street one, it's on the corner. We've got the good stuff there, they've got salad, pate, pork, uh, spring onions, and then all the sauces, all the meat. I don't know how much this one costs, I just ordered it, there's no sign anywhere. Let's see what she's doing, yeah. So standard Bam Me stuff, I think that's for me that one. Looks like he's packing it in good. That pattern looks really nice as well. Sometimes you get the pattern and it's out of the packet, but that one looks, that one looks homemade. So, yeah. She's been here all day doing this. I've walked past it about 10 times. She's been busy as hell every time. So it's obviously good ones. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, pound. Thank you very much. Come on. Okay, let's try this one. We're actually heading to a restaurant as well. The one we went to earlier, I think, for, for the actual dinner. Um, I'm only there to try random stuff. We'll see where we end up. There's so many restaurants. But yeah, here's the Bami. I don't know if the lighting's any good here. Um, it's easy on the salad. I, I just chose a specific one. I didn't, chose a, I didn't choose a specific one. I just said, give me one of them. Um, yeah. Mm. That's the best bread so far. That is, that's crunchy, that's good. Meaty, there is salad in there, it's hiding at the bottom. Loads of loads of um, pork in there. You can see. That's a good one. I keep saying it's about all of them, but it's my favourite one. <laughs> So we found the we found a, the restaurant we want to go to, but we're just having a little wander about, see what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's a Monday night tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man, that's all lit up nice over there. Oh. Yeah, look at that street. Oh yeah, it's the lanterns. I forgot. Yeah, the city's uh, famous for like the lanterns on the on the river. <laughs> luckily, um, luckily it's not raining because uh, we wouldn't have seen this otherwise. I don't think. Yeah, this is the like super super touristy bit. But actually, it's the most tourists I've seen anywhere in Vietnam so far. Right where we are now. See all the lanterns. Oh, no, 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 no. 
don't know what the quality is like. I'll probably get some pictures in it, but it ain't gonna look very good. Not in this light, not on my camera. Yeah, there's a lot going on. We're trying to, uh, we know we don't want to get something to eat. We're having a little explore. I'm just trying to find some more strange food for you or good food. Ooh. I'm um, having some problems finding the uh, un unlaid chicken eggs. I've oh, been to a couple of places, but they wasn't. Um, they was out of uh, out of stock. Basically, they sold them all. So I'm not sure if we're going to find that one. Um, the other thing that I haven't had yet, which is easy to going to be able to get, is the white rose one ton wrappers. I've seen that everywhere, so I'll find that um, somewhere. Um, but yeah. Can I, get the, uh, can I get the cherry one, please? Yeah. Hey, 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 hello. <laughs> hello. What's one you want? Huh? What's cherry, it? cherry. cherry. Yeah, he's on it already. He's on it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, getting a roll of ice cream. We've seen this one before. Nothing too crazy. Just a uh, fancy ice cream. I don't really like sweet stuff, but this one looks good. Well, England. 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 Yeah, yeah. Oi, oi, Savaloi. Oi, oi. Nice. really tasty yeah I'm gonna leave it there you know what ice cream tastes like that is a good one but yeah so we've uh, left the busy area and come back to the uh, chill area just having a little walk and um, trying to find something uh, random to eat <coughs> there isn't um we've had loads of stuff today I reckon like 12 dishes I don't know you, you count you tell me um, yeah talk about a little bit about these I yeah, know this is a bad example but there's actually hundreds of um, hundreds of, like tailors everywhere and uh, for women and for blokes they measure you up um, you can get a suit you can get dresses choose the material choose like stitching like it's really really intricate um, I think for a full suit um, tailor tailor made measured up um, is about two hundred dollars maybe um, I'm not sure obviously on the dresses I haven't uh, asked about them um, but yeah you can see all the materials they use at the back there um, yeah you've got all these cool little shops all nice little artwork and that that is dangerous because if I um, if I knew that I didn't have to carry that around I would buy loads of that stuff and I don't, I don't know what I'd do with it but I'd just buy loads yeah all the different uh, materials they've got normal stuff as well they've got plain stuff they've got um, crazy patterns um, they've got professional looking stuff um, yeah, I might I might buy a couple of work shirts. I'm not too sure yet. As long as they're cotton and not polyester and all that kind of thing, I might might give it a go. Uh, I did ask. That was twenty dollars, I think, for a, for a short sleeve shirt. Okay, so we're at the last place because I um, I can't eat anymore. Um, yeah, we've got Chow Ga, I think it's called, which is okay. They're either unlaid unlaid chicken eggs or chicken ovary one of the two 
and uh, we're going to try it out. We're just going to go and sit down at the end here and make it up here. Standard street food affair. Okay. Josh, sit in. So I pointed directly at the picture of the like uh, chicken, whatever they are, but um, must have been a bit of a miscommunication. So we've got like kind of some kind of chicken porridge, it's like uh, broken rice with chicken and that. It looks looks nice though. It looks uh, nice and healthy, but um, yeah, it's not obviously not what I ordered. I still so still haven't had the chicken uh, ovaries yet. But yeah, let's give it a try. It looks um, looks hot. Hmm. It's really good, it's like proper soul food style. Um, definitely good for like a cold day or if you're feeling a little bit ill. No massively strong flavors. I mean, they could uh, they could be in there, they could be sliced up, but I don't know what that, that yellow bit is there. I'm not too sure. Uh, really tasty. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be the uh, last video of this one. Um, Reached 120 subscribers. Thanks for uh, thanks for subscribing. That's about 119 more than I thought I would have. Um, carry on, uh, carry on watching. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. I've got um, some backlog of footage I need to put out. Um, yeah, we're off to Ho Chi Minh tomorrow, so there might be another little exploration video coming out on top of that. But then when I go to Bangkok and that, I'm not going to bother. Not going to bother filming. Um, we're only there for a few days. Uh, Phu Quoc is the destination after that. Uh, yeah, got nothing else to update you on. Enjoy. Peace out.